Now at Target 12, investigators exclusive at a local waste transportation company under investigation for illegal dumping. Sinagro is accused of bringing hundreds of thousands of pounds of out-of-state sludge to the state central landfill in Johnston. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau joins us now with more outside the company's Woonsocket location. One investigator tells Target 12 the state might have never known about this if not for a tip from a former employee of this Woonsocket company. Target 12 found out Sinegro is accused of dumping 390,000 pounds of dried sludge at the central landfill in Johnston over a three-day period in July. According to the DEM, the sludge, composed of solid materials from an unnamed wastewater treatment plant, allegedly came from out of state. Landfill regulations do not allow any out-of-state dumping. Or isn't it well known that you don't take out-of-state sludge? We believe it is. Uh, it's posted everywhere as you drive into the facility. Uh, it's in all of our general commercial contracts. Uh, it's on the affidavit they signed for every load that's delivered to the site. A Sinegro employee who asked not to be identified tells us dumping in Johnston cut the company costs in half. A company spokesperson tells Target 12, quote, the matter of the sludge is still being researched internally. She would not offer any details, but Card says the company was notified after someone called the landfill about the alleged illegal dumping. Did they admit they were bringing out-of-state material? I believe they did, yes. Claims of out-of-state dumping fueled some of the criticism of odors that fume from the landfill. Card tells us random inspections here can detect out-of-state trash if envelopes with addresses are found. But he says out-of-state sludge is another story. The lying in line is not much we can do about that. Uh, we do random waste inspections up top the hill looking for things that don't belong here, like out-of-state waste. Sludge material would be very hard to identify. The DEM tells Target 12 fines are possible, but there's no word when their investigation will be complete. With the Target 12 investigators in Woonsocket, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.